Hey there, everybody. That here and welcome back to that please Rim World XCAM edition. I think we landed in the first of. Was it the first of September or something? Yeah, we're gonna want to do some raiding soon, to my knowledge. But uh, well. We're not really in a great position to do that, I and mean, we can go get some pumpkins or some pine nuts. This is a... Oh no, this is an actual group. The Banby Beyond. Banby Beyonds. Who are the Banby Beyonds? They're a pact, apparently. Do they already hate us? They do. They're Yitikin. Of Reese Clark. So they already hate us. I'm almost like, why not? Why not go oof them? Give them a little bit of the oofer doofer. 0.4 days? You know, get in, get out, 20 minute adventure. As you do, as you do. Let's try it. Let's see. Uh, Dismas and Fran, because mainly because Fran has the shooty uh, backpack. We could bring the Ankylosaurus too. Actually, if we brought the Ankylosaurus, we should bring Vasilla because Vasilla has Oh my gosh, you can ride it. Yes. Vasilla riding an Ankylosaurus. That's what I want in my life. Um, I mean, yes, bring food. All right. Point three days. Like I said, get in, get out. 20 minute adventure. How many enemies are there? Two. It said two. I already looked that up. So this should be relatively easy rares. Look at this. It's amazing. Beehives have formed. Uh, that means Igor Invader is out. And we get free... Ooh, that, ooh that's a Wigglysaurus. Okay. Uh, Hildegard Heroic is now in charge. Veteran of the Grim Mechanoid War and a Scald of Jotunheim. Yeah. We'll send more big threats while causing fewer, fewer small ones. Okay, good to know. Good to know. We're researching sterile materials, and as you can see from looking around the colony, we freaking need it. Okay, go maintain that battery and then go clean this room. I keep telling... I keep making rain old be the resident cleaner around here. Okay, Fran, what you, how you doing? How you doing? You're doing your best. I can see that. Your shooting is already up to seven, so you're doing pretty well. It's noon. Why is, it, why are, is everyone sleeping at freaking noon, man? Oh, because of a raid we had recently. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Wake up. Y'all don't need to be asleep right now. Y'all got time. Okay, look at him go. Oh, no! That ankle lost its head. He'll be fine. Probably. But, you know, we got work that needs to get done. At least in theory. Yeah, this room's clean. It is good. What you gonna do about it? It's now dirty. That's okay. He's back to researching. It's more important. If we get this filled with sterile tile, then it will at least stay clean enough where we can work with it long term, you know? You know. You're smart lads. I kind of want to shrink this zone a little bit like so. Put in the hauling order, and then we can embiggen this room eventually. I guess I'd have to move all of this over. If I really wanted to embiggen this room. So, tell you what. Let's take this tree down and maybe move this stuff over to this side for right now. You know? That gives us room to embiggen. Let me just put the haul order back here. We'll drag it over this way. Maybe shrink it a little bit more so it's not in the way of this. And honestly, that this works for now. It's fine. You know, don't worry about it. Reynold, my dude. Oh well. Okay, Dismas and Vasilla have made it. We're gonna make something happen. I don't know what, but something. Okay, Vasilla, jump back on the ankylo. Dismas, oh, they they are sleepy. That's okay. Firmly, but softly touch it. Okay. What do we got? We got two dudes. They got a stick and more stick. They got a fungal stick and they got some knives. All right. And they have a turret, but they have no electricity. What? Huh? And a room made out of crystal? Dude, that's sick. All right. I want to deconstruct that room. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Is that Titan Sylvester? It is Titan Sylvester! You're a furry now, Titan. 
Tynan. I can read. <laughs> um, he's also apparently. Wow. <laughs> he's not dead. He will be in 13 hours, so sorry about that. Not really. Oh, now he's dead. Nice shooting. Okay. Dismas, you go in here. Vasilla, you go in here. Let's go take... Vasilla, you go in here. Let's take a look at our bounty. And we should be able to bring just about everything back on the back of... Okay, that's just a bedroom. Aha. 346 pine nuts. And also a full-ass crystalline room? This is kind of blowing my mind over here. Uh, the, They should deal with the... They should be able to deal with the roof automatically. They should. Remove the floor. Okay. Undraft. Do is do this stuff. But I I kinda meant now. Dismas, plea. This is free crystal. Dismas, please. I was gonna say, wake your ass up, dude. We get this done, we can go. No forced work. I mean, there's more to do. So let's start working on the wall. Mm hmm. Well done. <laughs> uh, forced work. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Good job, guys. And you're going to work on the roof automatically because we have mods to make you smarter. And I really appreciate that right now. Do we need all this crystal? I'm going to say no. But it's nice. Hey, this is, uh, this is a bed over here. It's ancient. I don't know if it's good. Probably not. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sterile materials is done aisles. This is good. Good for us. Good for Bitcoin. Okay. Almost done, lads. All right, and bam, let's go. Reform the caravan, get back home. Vasilla can ride on ye, ye lad, ye lad. That's what I'm calling you nowadays, huh? Got our pine nuts. And then apparently we can't haul all of this, but we can haul 163 of it. Is there anything more valuable? I guess I could get a free mini turret. We love turrets in this colony, so yeah, take that. 0.6 days now, but we'll be fine. There you go. Beautiful. Absolutely, positively beautiful. Now, sterile up this room, and then we'll be fine. This is the only room that actually needs it. Oh, hey, another farming work site by Beninum. They are a small independent group. We could attack them with no consequences. So that count is like a, a raid or something? No? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how things work. I know we found Tynan. He turned into a, a Yeti man. Then he got the big oof. That's what happens sometimes, you know? Geothermal power. That's going to be great. You know, when we finally get it. Reynolds over here working on this uh, steel mining work site by Eastern Dindler. They are also a small independent group. 216 steel. Doesn't seem worth it. Maybe it is. Just doesn't seem like it, you know? All right. There you go. It's still slightly dirty in here, but we're working on it. It'll get better. Reynold is busy doing some hauling over here. Okay. Uh, I think the room is now... Oh, nope. Almost. Still one spot needs to get done. Or two spots need to get done. I see why it's still so dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Because the dirt... The grass makes the room much dirtier. There we go. Now it's clean. Even though you see the dirt on the ground, it is considered a clean room. This is the power of technology. All right. Beautiful. 
what more could you ask for? Don't answer that. Got to haul this marble, haul that over too. And then let's look at embiggening a little bit. You know, we got a machining room going. And that's nice. I think we could use a slightly bigger kitchen just to make people feel better about their lives. So we are going to do that. Dismas and Vasilla are back. They have done it. The uh, Ankylosaurus is sleeping. Okay. That's cool, I guess. We got a free turret. That's actually cool. Everything else, haul urgently because, you know, uh, you don't need to haul. Eh, whatever. You can get those two. The turret. Um, I guess put it over here. Sure. Yeah. Let's put it over somewhere. Uh, Vasilla is throwing a party. Okay. She's about to fall down dead. She participated in a raid. There you go. Through conquest, we bring honor to our colony. Okay. Yeah, nobody gets anything for not participating. So that's good to know, though. Yeah, I don't know what party you were expecting to have here. Honestly. No storage space. What are we lacking storage space for? Hildegard, what are you doing? Oh, a battle. Okay. The pine nuts and the blue crystal. Do we not... Do we not have space for blue crystal over here? We do, but the stacks are about full. Okay. I guess that I get. Let's make another one of these... Uh, if I do that, though, I won't have any... Sp I I'm going to embiggen this room. We can hold off until that, I think. No room for the nuts, though, huh? Well, then we'll just make a smaller fridge. No way, that won't work. Move runs away from combat. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a fight being happening over here. Um, The Noosa forces engaging with the defensive forces. Yeah. In says The cop says, huh? Who the hell are both of you? I there we go. It's an impin tribe. Impids fighting the Nyans. Oh, it's the cat people. Look, it's a cat person. He's part cat. Which part? I don't know. There you go, cat. Harsh demeanor. Very blunt and say whatever's on their mind with no care for tact or place. Okay, so they're basically, yeah, it forces abrasiveness. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't know what a cat-like voice means necessarily other than McNyan voices. And we got impids over here. So it's cats versus imps. Versus demons. And this one's blowing fire over here. Uh-oh, something's blowing up. Something blew up down there. There's a lot of fire. There is a lot of fire going on. And I'm guessing the impids are really good about that. Super heat tolerant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like... Oh, but they're losing! The imps are losing to the cats. And I heard a cat meow sound. Oh, now the cats are leaving. So I'm guessing it's a draw. Good job, y'all. Okay. Okay. Can I put the pine nuts? No, this this is only meals. That's right. Uh, where can I put the pine nuts? I mean, I guess we just wait. We'll probably be okay. They'll probably be okay for like a day, right? Maybe. Uh, the crystal will last forever, so don't worry about that. The pine nuts, yeah, they'll disappear eventually, though. Conquerors repelled. Okay. Gotcha. That's how that counted. And we still got the turret to place, too. It's alright. It's only 2 a.m. The party has come to an end. What a good time. Who was actually awake for that party? I guess Reynold was. But, like, you threw the party and you were asleep. Oh, wait. Vasilla threw the party. But same diff. Only the people who were awake tended the party. You're all weird. But whatever. It works for now. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Dismas, uh, what are you doing? 
cloud watching. We're gonna get that. But I gave you a, a one in haul plus because I want you to haul this stuff. The stuff that we don't have space for. Ugh. Uh, that's a Lytrosaur. Is that technically... No, it's not. It will not hunt. It will not attack. Nothing to worry about there. All right, I think I think things are rocking and rolling right now. We need to get other things with the sterile materials, like little things that could help us with the research, the research counter specifically. Can't build any right now, but it's it's an option for the future. Yes, having more space for food will definitely be helpful. I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and close this up right now. And then we can open up this room. We won't be able to sterile tile the whole ass room because we don't have enough stuff to do that. But we can sterile tile some of the room. And that'll be okay for now. You know? And this may all just be... Just be part of the workshop area. I don't think we need to embiggen our barracks areas yet. Someday, maybe, but not right now. Not right now. Uh, marriage is on? Reynold told Fran that he wanted to spend his life with her. Okay. I guess. Got the turret now, so that's good. Automated turrets, plus two. They are an incredible boon to our defenses. All right. I feel like that's a good thing. People will like that. Oh, this got done. Y'all being too efficient sometimes. Okay. Let's tear down the wall. And then we need to put down as much of the sterile tile as we can. Oh, right. Conduits. That's a thing, too. Eh, maybe we can do the whole thing. No, we don't have enough steel. Or silver. So I tell you what. Lil, we'll do sterile tiles... Like this. And then we can just have regular paved tiles down here. That works. And then put the conduits around. And then what we'll do is we'll move the fridge up here. Or, no, no, no. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to rename it. I just want to move. Can I not remove? Wait, can I seriously not move the freezer? I can't? I am shocked that you can't minify the freezer. But you know what? Whatever. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'll just put one on the other side as well. That's how I'll do it. Uh, dude, this room? It's its dirty and stinky. I don't, I don't think you should be in here yet. Doing cooking. Oh, it's just getting dirtier. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, we're getting things moved, at least. Not the light, though. Light? Mm, not right now. Can't get moved. Uh, so what do, I, what do I do about marriages and relationships and crap like that? Ain't that the question? I guess they did figure out they're going to be here for a while. All right, nice meal. Nice meal of berries. Got four days worth of food. That's not bad. Apparently, it's a decent amount. Could always get more Tyrannosaurus or some kind of other Saurus and eat them, too. I'm sure, they'd be delicious one someday. All right, that's all done. Ray Ray, I keep asking you to do this, but clean the room. Thank you. Sterile again. Okay, give me another one of these over here. And then we'll be in a good spot. And then take this conduit out of here, and boom, we got a kitchen. All right. And then we could do more crystal stuff, I guess. Okay, geothermal's coming up next. I think that we need to get that completed before we do anything much else. We are going to want a comms console that'll probably just go right into this room. Makes sense. It'll be in the war room and everything. Okay. 
just gonna do a copy pasta over here. And we'll just assume we can put everything in it. Good stuff, good stuff. Reynolds already like, cool, we can, I can go move my nuts. Nice. And behold, the nuts were moved. He was pretty great. What the hell are you? Oh, that's Gallimimus. They come in blue. Is that an ancient danger? That is, does look like an ancient danger. What is this? Ancient Exo Strider midsection. That's the head. Okay. Massive ancient Exo Strider war mechanoid. Some high energy weapon shattered the body and fused the parts into an almost solid mass. And its guts? Looks like they're still... There's a still functional transponder. If you could extract it, you could decrypt it to gather valuable information. Huh. The incendiary weapon cells are intact but unstable and will likely detonate after you do some damage. Okay. So we break that open and get the gooey, gooey goods inside, I guess. And again, there's an ancient danger over here as well. All interesting things. Although the Exo Strider we should at least be able to do by shooting it. So Reynold won't be required for that. Alright, well, with that in mind, let's go. Why the heck not? Why waste time? Let's get this thing done. Yeah, you can talk about uh, ethnicity, I guess. If that's what you want to talk about. But more importantly, shoot this. Okay. It has a lot of health. It's going to take a hot minute. Hey, there's another Anklo. Is the Anklo fully trained? Mm, just about. Oh, no, you've forgotten half of this skill. So not quite. Gotcha, gotcha. Should probably consider having you follow while drafted, at least. Come up and support the war efforts. If you'd be so kind. How are your guns doing? Not great. I'm gonna need to be ready for that. Reloading skill's getting pretty good, though. Yeah. He's shooting fairly fast. All things considered. Nope. Oh, eh, 500 damage. I'm not surprised that's the threshold. Move back. It's spitting out oil. Stony oil. Now it's chem fuel puddles. Okay. Uh, there's a transponder. Microorgan that connects a mechanator to a mechanoid. Oh, jeez. So this was a way to get a mechanator. Gotcha. Wingus. Go pick this up. Get it out of the fire. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Um, don't romance Wingus. Put him out. You know, when you're done eating. There you go. Wingus. Wingus, man. We gotta get this thing. Go grab it. I don't want it to get destroyed. Oh, he still got burned. Ow. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's raining. That'll help. He's got a burn scar on his eye. How'd you get burned in the eye? I don't even. Well, whatever. Now it's good. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. Well, there goes some of his aim. It's only a little bit of damage. All right, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll get itchy and it'll hurt. It'll burn. It'll do stuff, but you know he'll be fine, all things considered. Okay. Next up, geothermal. Once we get that sucker set up here, we're gonna be good on power for a long ass time, probably. Now uh, we need to make sure that is counting as home area. In fact. Everything down here might as well count as home area at this point. We want it to get repaired and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Hello, civil servant from the Orion installation. Zihan, how are you? Just have a regular ass auto pistol? Well, good for you, I guess. Wingus theoretically needs treatment, but it looks like he's going to be okay. Uh, uh, frick. We have way too many people here who will never do cleaning, I'm telling you, man. Okay, 
the deserter. A vat grown soldier calling from nearby, Kados. Okay. Deserted the Green Empire and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. Wants to join us. You, they know the location of two neuroformers. They will become an enemy of the Green Empire. Will be attacked by a, a Yenissary and three troopers. You will have one year to attack the outpost before it's moved. That would be this outpost. I don't know. That's... I don't know if we want the Empire to be our enemy, per se. It doesn't seem like the best idea. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Wingus, will you heal up already? And also, stop dirtying this room. How hard can it be to keep this room clean, I tell you? Apparently, very. We have trash cans? <laughs> Do I have not have that mod? I might. I don't know. Actually, one thing I do have are these cooking tools. They cost a lot to increase cooking speed. But I'm going to want it eventually. To, you know, increase the cooking speed. I just don't know if now is the right time for it. Uh, we can go ahead and actually extend up this way as well. Make some more space overall. They're apparently very excited to do that. Clay stone slabs are what we're putting over here. So can I put in more? Uh, where are my stone slabs? Stone slabs somewhere in here, right? Clay stone slabs? It's not this stuff, right? No, it's a different one. That's what I thought. There they are. All right, clay stone slabs. Just a little short on it. Like, literally by four. There, we do have more clay stone. So we could probably fix it eventually. Okay. Move the conduits around here. And then we could take down these conduits here. It's easier than you'd think. Cool. Alright. Wingus is healed. Look at him go. Yeah, it's very minor. He'll be fine. And we can get him a new eye eventually, probably, maybe. If we're feeling it at some point. Did I forget to copy and paste over here? I probably did. All good, all good. There is a lot of weather going on. I feel like... I could be wrong, but I feel like there's a lot. Go ahead and harvest this peach tree since it's ready. You know, when you get the chance, when you get the chance. I'm not going to rush it out right now, but, you know, when you can, please do. Ray Ray, please. We don't have an infinite amount of this stuff. All right. Thank you for keeping that in mind. Wingus, how you doing? I mean, mood-wise, you're doing pretty good. No beautiful pawns in Colony. Well, you can deal with that. How you doing, Desmus? He seems to be doing all right, too. Like, nobody has a low mood. At least not yet. Vasilla, your mood is fine. Yeah. Had a fun festival. Got to hang out and relax. All at the same time. It does destroy the Christmas tree, but that's okay. Do these things give off their own light? Is that what it does? Big, if true. Yeah, it's lit 50 on those. So apparently they do. They just give out a little bit of light. All right, well, we can, I'm sure we could use that for something someday. Dismas, I was going to say, why are you sleeping now? What is going on? All right. Reynold, you know what I'm going to tell you to do. Clean this room. And then let's go ahead and gather the team. And let's see what's over here. We know it's going to be ancient. It's going to be danger. 
That's all we know so far. All right. Let's go. Aren't you supposed to be following while drafted? You seem to be wholly uninterested in doing that. And I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know. Weird. Okay. Reynold, come over here. Deconstruct. Everyone else be ready. Look at this cute little Stegosaurus. Look at this cute little lad. I love it. Okay, area revealed. There's mechanoids in here. All right. There's an assaulter with a shield and a lancer. Oh, crap, and all these guys. Who seem to have some pretty nifty-looking guns. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Let them fight the mechanoids first. Oh, there's also bugs in there. Run farther. Holy cow. Circle around. All right, there's too much in there for one millisecond. Keep going, we can kite the bugs. They're easy. Ooh, free crap. Nice. Okay, Sarai is down. They dropped a grenade launcher. We got Omid over here and Yaren with... Oh, he's just pistols bio-coded. An arc thrower. Yo, stun weapons. Neat. Circadian influence. Frontier pistol. Another arc thrower. Some gold. It's always good to see. All right. Are they just running away? I don't even think they're attacking. Okay, start heading up that way slowly. The bugs may not even be attacking. Which, if that's the case, then that's fantastic for us. You have a shotgun? Yes, it's normal quality. So nothing really worth writing home about. I mean, yeah, if the bugs aren't going to attack us, don't attack them either. It's fine. We don't like them, but... That other person ran away. Okay, here they come. Where are they going? Where are they going? They're going the wrong way. Hey! Oh, yeah, yeah. A cold snap. Okay. Well, we're halfway through the season, so I guess we'll probably be fine there. Um, everyone get behind something. If and you can. Dismas, you have really good armor. Maybe you should move forward. You accidentally have really good armor. And Reynold is going to attack in melee. Got him. Yes. Stop that dude. Okay. This assaulter, I forgot. He has like a charge blaster type weapon. It's fine. Let's get through that shield. You'll go down. Boom. Told you you'll go down. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. What's the damage? Little bit. Very little. You're really fine. Okay, let's get inside. Take a look at our bounty here. We got some advanced components. Beautiful stuff. We got some drugs, some Glitter World medicine. We got this person who could survive if we patch them up. They have Wanderlust, so they're going to want to travel, which is, would actually not be a bad thing. Um, Reynold, go ahead and tend to them right now. See if you can get them to survive. All these caskets have already been opened, so we don't have to worry too much about that. But we have this crate over here as well. Dismas, go ahead and open the crate. Luciferium, of course. Okay. Well, other than that, not too much to write home about right away. Okay, haul in the... the weapons urgently. And this. And this. And this. And this. Okay, haul in a lot of the stuff urgently. This is nice. 50 damage. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, I mean, eventually we're going to have to put space for it. So for now, we'll just put it on the floor as you do, as you do. And then eventually we will have proper space for it. Again, as you do, as you do. Let's just get it all inside and on the floor for now. Did you pick this stuff up? You picked up dead people. 
What is wrong with all of you? A little stygy over there. Nice. 10 quality of zero. Beautiful. Mm hmm. Okay. 38. That's better than zero. And boom, you're not going to die. Sweet. Yeah, eat something and then hold this in, please. Really? Hold this in, please. Or haul in everything. That's great, too. Everything except this, which I accidentally missed. Plants designated for early harvest due to the weather. Makes sense to me. It sucks, but it makes sense. We could also probably expect some animals to leave. Thanks to the bad weather. All right, so we got a grenade launcher, huh? I don't think anyone can equip this as a... Well, never mind. Dismas could equip it as a sidearm. Wingus could equip it as a sidearm. Wingus, go equip this as a sidearm. Nice. Okay. Reynold, it said he's too heavy, probably because of the heavy armor he's wearing. Would be my guess. Okay, he's already at 20 out of 35. Let's see, how much does that thing weigh? 3.5. He should have been able to carry it, but whatever. Just want to try it out real quick. Ooh, that is some long-ass range. Dude, that kicks the absolute crap. Oh, and it moves fast, too. Not accurate, apparently, but still. Damn, that kicks the shit out of regular grenades. Hey, Ray, Ray you can self-tend if you'd like. Although, yeah, yeah, no, no, you'll be smart on medicine. At least you should. There's mods for that. And we have them. Rejected proposal. Facilla approves a proposed marriage to Dismas. It's too much for the relationship. Vasilla's gonna be unhappy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My proposal was rejected. It's a negative 18. Oh my god! Well, the rotting corpses didn't help. That's not good. <laughs> These are not good. Oh boy. Dismas. What can you say for yourself? He says, he says, this place is ugly and it sucks. That's all I have to say about it. Get me out of this sucky, ugly place. Well, clean up. Be less ugly. There you go. How's that? Better, isn't it? All right. Fran, how you doing over here? You're viewing some art? How is it? Hopefully it's nice and arty. Simple meals, baby. Cooking the skill eight. He's getting up there, man. Wingus is going to be a cooking champ at this rate. What are you doing? Oh, you know what? We probably shouldn't have corpses in this stockpile zone. That's probably why we're having the stank. Um, no human-like. Animal corpses are fine. Mechanoid corpses are not. Maybe some more, uh, more places to put them dead bodies would be good. Just an idea. Looks like the other person left, which is, I mean, I'm not surprised. You know. The assaulter, though. We can shred mechs. Let's do it. Shred mechanoids forever. Actually, I should take a closer look at that. Uh, not friendly. Okay, that's by default. Good. That's what I actually wanted. It's cold. Oh, it's cold now. It's negative four inside. You can see the uh, the cold all about. Yep, the plant's dying because of it. I'm not surprised. Just a little disappointed. Ray Ray's fully healed. He's like, I am fully healed. I'm going to eat some peaches. Now I'm sick. Well, damn it. <laughs> it's not the kind of luck I was hoping for, but all right. I guess it is what it is. Okay, how bad is this cold snap going to be for us, though? Like, really? Slept in the cold, minus four on the mood. What can we... Negative 39. Negative 36. Negative 12. Okay, you're the worst of it so far, Wingus. Negative 40 freaking two? Negative 26. Okay. So for a couple of us, it's pretty bad. Like I said, Wingus has it the worst. He can handle this cold. 
It's just not the best for him. We need to move this stuff. Mainly because it's in the way and they have to climb over it. And that's not great. There we go. We can pick up everything later. So we have the machining table. We can also build the smithy now as well. Which I guess would be nice to have one. We are not out of... Oh no, the components are right here. I was going to say, we're not out of components. There's no freaking way. That's true, there is no freaking way. We're not out of components. <laughs> Don't worry about it, that You're fine. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and make a crematorium too. Just so we can get that stuff out of here. Do we have enough granite? Nope. Alright, we have enough cyanite. Yeah, we have enough nice. It is nice nice, after all. You know, somewhere to bury this corpses. Get them out of a colony. Just put it over here for now. I think this works. Mm -hmm. We need a high-tech research bench for the circadian influence. So nothing to do with that yet. Do I just go ahead and turn Wingus to a Mechanator? Like I said, we had a whole ass thing with Mechanators recently. So I'm not sure if that's the prudent thing to do. Or the, you know, the fun thing to do. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm off base, you know? Wouldn't be the first time, probably. Yeah, Ray Ray's moving pretty slow right now. It's getting that hauling done, though, and I appreciate that. Look at him go. What a champ. What a champ. He ain't no chump. He keeps it going, man. We're going to have a bunch of champion constructionists at this rate. <laughs> Everyone does construction, so they all repair things. I feel like that's getting done all the freaking time. Vasilla is currently the queen of it, though, with 11.65. It's pretty good. Uh, okay, an eclipse and a cold snap. Good thing we don't use solar. I don't know what that has to do with the uh, eclipse, but... Well, I mean, with cold snap. It has a plenty to do with the eclipse. I know what I'm talking about. Don't worry about me. Uh, we are likely going to need warmer clothes, though. Okay. So this is still doing some bad for us. And also, I imagine the dinosaurs probably are not appreciating all this cold either. Get all these over here. Styracosauruses. Ooh, they're like super... I was going to say they're like super triceratopses. They, they, they have more than the tri. Closely related to the centrosaurus and was best distinguished for its array of six long spikes that protruded from the back of its frill. They're like double triceratopses. Neat. Yo, if there's any beehives and they're ready to harvest, go ahead and get some honey. Who doesn't like that? Okay, crematorium is done. What is this shape? I actually kind of love it. Cremate corpses, do it forever. Uh, not... Not colonist corpses. Yes, aliens. Suffer them not to live. And, well, I was going to say rotten animals too, but we don't need to worry about that right this second. Okay, well, let's hunt something. I feel like we need... I guess we'll hunt the Gallimimus. Get some meat. Because we're not going to have veggies for too much longer at this rate. We do have 11 days worth of food, though. In what form? In storage, amount of food eaten per day. How do we have 11 days worth? It, it must be all the berries? Or all the carrots, maybe? I don't know. I just feel like we don't have 11 days worth of food, but... Hey, if you say we do, who am I to complain? Alright, Dismas. Vasilla's already done some hunting. The cold snap is thankfully over. Now the uh, game's getting a little snarky here. I mean, uh, maybe not snarky, but opinionated when it comes to these snaps. Well, that's an awkward place for them to have pushed you. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Damn it. Uh, hey, activate your camo. And then run. <laughs> 
Yeah, baby. We only get to use that like three times. And I think that's over the course of having that piece of apparel. So something to keep in mind. We need to start making some grease as well. But it, it got us good there, man. I'm telling you, it had us cornered. These things look like they have plenty of meat on them, too. Parasoro. Parasoro. That's awfulus. Parasaurophilus. There you go. Jeez. I can word sometimes. Vasilla's got a break risk. But she's doing better. You know, she hasn't gotten completely better, but she's getting better. Sup, Struthia Mimus. How you doing? Well, that sucks. That was literally just one shot, and they are immediately all pissed. We need teamwork. Please, stream, must work. Oh, God. Hey, Anklo, do you want to help us out yet? Cool if you did. This thing does not give an F, man. Oh, no. Stop crawling over the stones. Oh, boy. Oh, he actually he actually is coming to help. Okay. This is good. Good for us. Good for Bitcoin. There you go. There we go. Now we're in a spot where we can do some shooting. Um, Orion installation in the Mola Und. I have decided to uh, team up, apparently. Okay. This is looking good now. It is looking real good now. We ain't gonna see your conventionals doing some work over here. All right, nicely done, team. Crisis abated. Eat your simple meal, I guess. Wingus is going straight into butchering. We're gonna have some Gallimimus meat. Gallimimus. All right, give it to me. See, this thing's gonna die, right? It's bleeding out, yeah. Delicious. We got 214 theropod meat and some downy hide. Oh, you're still alive and you're still mad? You are still mad. What, did you lose a foot? No? Well, now you did. And you lost everything, too, to be fair. All right, we got food. Yes, we do. We got food. How about you? Hey, can you bust up this clay stone into, into usable blocks at some point, Vasilla? That'd be great if you could. And if you can't, don't tell me. I refuse to be disappointed. All right. There's some medium dino hide. How much are these getting each? I probably should have checked that first, huh? 214? All right, this is good. Sounds good to me. Royal Tribute Collector is here. Excuse me while I don't care about that. We don't have any gold. Apparently, Fran has a son, though. Okay. Hello. Protected Monarch? Hmm. Alright. Apparently he was just tired of being a monarch. Interesting. We're still not going to give you any. Okay. Look, I don't care who they send. I'm not paying taxes. Um, Green Empire. <laughs> this is again the Empire. They just really want us to help. Uh, they want us to hold some prisoners for 15 days for a reinforced barrel. This doesn't seem worth it either. Let's be straight up with you. There we go. A little bit of clay stone. Enough to get that done. We'll feel pretty good about that. Do I need to extend the home area? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good thing I caught that someday. At some point. Before it was way too late. Thanks for packing in all this dirt. Actually, that's exactly what we should do. I was about to say that sarcastically, but no, we should pack this in. It'll make sure that nothing grows there. Why haven't I done that before? Don't even at me. Yeah, I think I like this design the most. Kind of looks neat from the side. I actually don't even see that one on this list. I think it's this one, the chimneys. It looks like there's one from this angle. You can kind of see the second hole right here, but... Double, huh? No, nah, I like I like this one. This one's good. That's a neat design. Yeah, so we'll, we'll pack in some dirt. 
keep our stove and everything repaired. Make sure we have plenty of meat. This room is done. It's filthy, but it's done. And there we go. We have a good guaranteed landing zone over here. Well, we will in a minute. <laughs> in, in a few minutes. Come on, Ray Ray. You can do it. You can do it, man. Oh, here you go. Good job. Cool. All right. Vasilla's really banging this stuff out, man. Yeah, get out of here. Like I said, we don't care who the Green Empire sends. We're not paying taxes. Oh, that's who they're sending. The Red Oyster Uzga. They're attacking immediately. Well, at least they attacked during the middle of the day. Uh, and literally all have short bows. That may all be awful. Uh, they are a savage wild horde tribe. Oh, okay. Are they all orcs? No, they're cursed. That's right. It's a little different. They are unstoppable. And they have that uh, instability to them. Which means that they're not going to live as long and they're going to get cancer. But, you know, that's, that's not my fault. Other than that, they just like slapping people. Alright. Good to know this one's riding the donkey. <laughs> Good for them. And you know what? We're going to take care of them. But we're going to take care of them next time. That's going to be it for this episode of that. Please, RimWorld XCOM. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know that you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, feel free to give it a like. And subscribe if you want to see more, because it'll keep coming. It won't stop till it does, and then it will. And then who knows what will come after that. Uh, I think we're. it's probably about time. They're sending a ton of raids at us, so it's probably about time we build a prison, yeah? See if we can capture some of these people, interrogate them a bit, maybe get them to join? If they see the light, we'll see. Thanks for watching this episode of Rim World XCOM. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.